Oh, excuse me, sorry, I was drinking my juice. Hi, good morning. I just love fresh fruit and vegetable juice in the morning. I'm going to share with you one of my favorites. Actually, I just made up this recipe this morning, but believe me, it's now a favorite. One of the benefits of this smoothie that we're about to make is that it has lots of vitamin A and vitamin C in it. In fact, two and a half cups of kale, which is going to blend down into almost nothing, has... 1 in 170% of your daily vitamin C, 260% of your vitamin A, some calcium, and some iron. What is vitamin A good for? Let's suppose you have a sore throat. You're going to want a lot of vitamin A because it's going to make your throat feel a lot better. And we also need vitamin C in our daily drinks and what we're eating. So these are vitamins that you're going to need to get. Good morning. This morning I was about to go for a walk, but before I went for a walk and out for the day, I decided, let me make a smoothie. So let's see what we're going to make today. Just three or four easy ingredients, and you're going to have a delicious sweet smoothie that also is a little bit salty because we're going to put some celery in it, but it also has a sweetness from the grapes and we have some kale. I got this kale, it was a great deal. Like this one was actually from Wegmans. And you can get larger quantities of produce and that way you can put them in your drinks and not feel like you are wasting a little bit at a time. I also have a big thing of greens here. This smoothie is really easy to make because there's no peeling, there's no preparation steps involved. All you have to do is wash the fruits and vegetables and then put it into a blender. A high, speed, a high speed blender is the best to make drinks. I'm using the Vitamix here. So what I'm gonna do is I have some grapes and I'm gonna put in, I'm not sure how much. This is a half a cup, let's see how many it makes. Two and a half cups of green sweet grapes. Then I'm putting in a stalk of celery. When you wash the celery, don't forget to wash the bottom here because that's usually where the dirt and the earth comes into it. If you don't mind earth on your, if you don't mind having earth on your celery, put it all in. It's some extra nutrients. If you do mind, I would say wash it off. Then you can put the greens in here. So I like to change up which greens I'm putting in there. Today I'm putting kale, but tomorrow it might be spinach or different greens. It kind of depends what they have available at the local stores, what's reasonable, and what looks fresh and delicious. So I'm putting in a few handfuls. I'm going to measure it out and see how much is actually in here. So there's about a bowl's worth of greens that are going into this smoothie. So we're going to bring it over here, about one, one bowl's worth, one large bowl, I should say. And one last thing, I'm actually going to be putting a little bit of lime. If you go to the store and they have lime, try to get the stuff that is going to be organic because the non-organic ones that come in those green bottles, they and you can squeeze on salads and stuff, they usually have ingredients in there that aren't the best for you. So try to get a really good quality lime juice if you're going to be putting it in your smoothie. So I'm not sure how much is going in. I'll try to measure it out with this. It's just a little bit and it's according to taste. So let me kind of give you a close up of how much I'm putting into it. This is half a cup and I'm putting about a quarter of a half a cup in there. I'm gonna pour it in just to give it a little bit of a tangy flavor. It's gonna be so delicious. Afterwards, if you wanna make it sweeter, you could put some dates in there, you can pit them. I'm gonna make it first without the dates to see if I like the texture like that, but if you want it extra sweet, don't be afraid to add some dates to it. Finally, I'm gonna cover this with water. 
but we can drink the water out of the sink here. Not every place you can. You might have to use bottled water. So I'm putting the water until it reaches the 750 milliliters or it's about or three cups and I'm going to put some ice in the in it just to cool it down a little bit. So I have about, a, probably about a cup of ice in here. And that's it. Now we're going to blend it and then try it and see how it is. Put the top on firmly so it doesn't come off. If you have a preset blender, you can put it on the smoothie mode. If not, it doesn't really matter how um, fast it goes. I usually just start at the lowest setting and then slowly bring it up. So I'll start at setting one. And that's it. So I'm going to have a taste. Let's see how it tastes. I use these glass mason jars because glass doesn't bleed into the drink. If you use a lot of plastic sometimes and it goes out in the sun or the car, then it will get into your drink. So let's see how much it makes. It makes a little bit over a large mason jar, but the rest you can have for breakfast and take the rest with you. Um, drink as much as you can right now. And then you have the rest for the rest of the day. Let's see how this is. Mmm, yummy. It's very good. Hi, so I actually wanted to talk to you guys about one thing, and that is the difference between the old Vitamix and the new generation. So I recently upgraded and got a new Vitamix, which is the new generation, and I do notice a big difference between the two. First of all, it is a lot quieter when people are sleeping here and I'm putting on it a lower setting at first before it goes up to the high setting, it does seem a lot quieter. And the second thing which is really surprising and amazed me was when I blend the ingredients now on the new blender, it becomes so liquefied that it feels like I'm actually juicing it. And I but yet at the same time I'm getting all the nutritional benefits that you'll be seeing from getting all the fiber in it but it's so 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 thin that it feels like I'm drinking almost like a condensed concentrate juice but it's not because it's fresh and it's very thin so let me kind of show you how thin this was this just amazed me for people who don't like drinks that are too thick I would highly recommend getting the new generation blender from Vitamix so let me show you what it looks like, okay? Here is the juice that I made. And it it's just so thin. And I don't know how it does it because we're putting so many thick ingredients in there that I'm not even sure how it became so th thin. <laughs> so anyway. Happy juicing, happy making smoothies, and have a beautiful day. Live life, love life, embrace life. Ciao. So have fun making smoothies, and see you later.